wish my kids could be here because it's like, yeah. I, I have two kids, one of 17. It's difficult to get that type of attention. So I would say, Santino, mira. And I have a 12, which is equally difficult. So for me, it's really very special to be here, not only for the 30 hours, but um, OK, so definitely. I wanted just to check in to, to connect with this moment and um, to give you a sense of what I'm feeling before starting the, the sharing of what, what I brought. Um, I totally love being here. I have some benefits of being 47, which comes with some things that you are very clear about. And when I read this, I, I was feeling fantastic the last three days, and I didn't know why. I, I heard, like, I had never been in this place, and I said, like, I like this gun. I, I, like, I like to be here. I'm feeling not only well received, I like the whole Malaysia diversity, the mixture, like that story, I, I am very into it. And then I open this, and it says movers and shakers. So for me, like, ah, I am in the right place at the right time, in the right salad, in the ASEAN place. So I just want to share that sense of honest incitement I have inside. And also, in this contradiction that we generally have, um, I also want to share with you something that I shared with Stefan when we started. It's like, I don't have a story of success, perfectly edited, polished, everything relates one chart to the other. I'm just bringing you a bit of a mess, OK? I'm bringing mess. So if you are very rational, analytic, and you are going to double check things, probably it's a good time to go to the toilet, <laughs> OK? Go to the toilet. I'm not going to give you that. Now I know the word in English. Uh, I didn't know how to say despeinada, which is when you have your hair, like the whole thing. And in English, you say disheveled. That sounds much more sexy than what I was actually trying to say. Um, I'm definitely disheveled with what I'm going to share with you. Um, and I feel uncomfortable, but I said, if this is about scaling discomfort, I should be very coherent, and I should be the role model in the company of being comfort in my discomfort. I have to do what I'm asking others to do. I cannot be outside asking people to do things that I don't feel. So I have to join the party, and I have to be equally uncomfortable if I want to feel what I'm asking people to do. So definitely messy. The first thing I want you to know is that you may see me, but there are many people behind me. And one of the big things behind these initiatives is who is your godfather or mother? You always need, like, good uh, espaldas. Uh, how do I, I don't remember the word. Shoulders. Because when you go, when you are going to do mess, you have to have some protection, OK? And especially big one. Okay. And, and Dana Anderson, she's our CMO. She is the type of person I look up to, tremendously fearless, tremendously expert, but those very generous leaders who would just open playgrounds. For our, I'm here, but it's definitely a team effort with Dana behind us. And the first thing that we did, at some point in your life, when you're 40-something, you just want to make sure you're spending your time in things that you believe in. I, I think that that's one of the privileges of having four decades. And, and we said, look, we are so clear, so clear, that how we are working uh, is completely out of sync with what's going on. For me to discuss change is like, are we still discussing change? Like, we're losing time. Change is the normal. And for me, it will not get any better. We have to stop thinking that there will be stability. It's like new context for design. The only thing that will change is that will be faster. So what we felt is like we cannot be working with our agency creative partners like in Mad Men. And when we look Mad Men, it isn't so different to what we do or what we did last week. There are differences, of course, but it's not so different. So we felt that we definitely needed to change. And something that we also knew is we have been very consistent in the last years in experimenting. We have been very committed to trying new ways and to knowing that we didn't have the answer. 
And I think that that's very humbling because you try and sometimes you don't get what you want, but that sense of keeping at it. And we did different projects in Mondelez. I think that one that Stefan, you mentioned several times is at some point we opened Fly Garage for three years. It was not a nice fashion of people with cool Adidas things sitting on the floor. We just said, if we want to innovate, what we have to do is leave. We need mental space. We just rented a place for a company like Mondelez. Imagine the level of disruption to open a place in Palermo, a very cool neighborhood. And the question I got was, Maria, do you really need to go to Palermo to do this? We have so many meters here. Imagine the discussion with finance, like all those discussions. Like, show me the ROI of going to Palermo when you have all those meters. So, like, it's obvious we need to go to Palermo. Look, these walls. We're never going to have this type of ideas in the same place where we want to liberate us from. So, it's, it's basic. If we don't have the money to open a place, we can go to a bar, but we can definitely need to get out. So, we did that. And I think that that, for me, was the first proof that we were being very committed, serious, because we were not clear. So, I think that we were clear in the purpose clear in what we wanted to do, but not clear in how to do it. And we did several other projects in US, in different regions, all with the same purpose. So I think that at the end of the day, we said, look, we know that we have to change. We have been experimenting, and we have like very good learnings that we have acquired some scars around. Um, and what we want to do now is we want to harness all those learnings into a model that can be, actually, it has to be simple, it has to be actionable, and it has to be scalable. We have to be able to do this in many parts of the world. And we um, created a new engagement model. It's a new way of creating with our creative partners. Just to have a sense, in this room, how many of you have any type of activity that involves working with creative partners, type of agencies. Can you pick up your hands so that I have a... The rest of the people, at some point, do you have to create any type of solutions with other type of partners that's not somebody in your team? Can you pick up your hand if that applies to you? Okay. So I think that the case is definitely a new uh, way of working with creative agencies. But hopefully, some of the learnings that I am bringing are equally applicable to moments that you have to create stuff working with people that is outside of your team. I think you, you're going to get something out of it. So to give you a sense of what is Fly Fearless model about, um, I hope that we can play now a video. It's three minutes. And after that, I would like to share a bit of the true Hollywood story behind the video, OK? At Mondelez, we are writing our own story of growth and transformation in a world of constant and fast-paced change. As fearless marketers, we are daring to organize and operate in new ways to drive our brand's growth and improve ROI. We embrace fearless action and feel ready to pave a new way. We have created a new engagement model, building on the best of previous experiences. Fly Fearless is not a new process. It's a refreshing mindset and a new way of working with our creative partners. Our key principles and practice are all about unleashing creativity, with speed bringing in new talents to collaborate, creating agitation and fast iteration in real life. Our approach has four simple steps. And the model in action evolves the historic client-agency relationship into a unified creative team. In 2015, we piloted this new approach. We have now key learnings to optimize Fly Fearless to be scaled globally and experience the unleashment power of this new way of working. In our marketers, we have created a movement. We cannot go back without time, uh, timing issues or budget restriction. Do you, as a client, really see the full potential of the campaign? With new talents that were coming from different industries. We are the creative mind. We are the results. It's not only about the what, not only about the why, but uh, of course about the how. In our creative partners. It's provoking. Bringing in talents from completely different worlds. It's a bit messy, but 
at the same time pushes the whole group to do innovations much more further. You focus on getting better creativity faster and pushing ideas to the limit. In our media partners, is good ideas come from anywhere. I think it really pushes us all to uh, be single-minded, to be user-first. This type of session takes you as, as part of the brand team. You put the hat on, you understand what the mission is. On what's the best solution for the consumer. Epic collaboration. Bringing all the key partners together. And I look forward to being part of more. This new way of working helps Mondelez better quality work, fearless and collaborative culture, scalable and flexible, maximizes investment, Fly Fearless is a way of working that can address different challenges to boost an existing idea, to develop a new idea with a clear strategy, to refresh an existing campaign. In 2016, we will focus on scaling globally for regional brands. Fly Fearless is more than a new model. It is a passport for our marketers to become explorers and creators of a new fearless culture. Fly Fearless is now ready. Are you ready to fly? I hope that when I sort of dive into rolling this out, the answer in the room is yes. Otherwise, I would be very alone, right? <laughs> but um, just to leave with you that this is definitely something that we are starting. And what I wanted to share with you is three things that this model is doing differently. Uh, basically, we want to evolve the client agency relationship. And Fly Fearless is about taking the table in the middle. And we are shifting to a figure which we call the co-leading triangle. The triangle is about owning together with the creative partner in the equal terms with a planner, a brand champion, and the creative partner being the three leaders that are going to land from idea to reality, fully empowered. And that for us is a big difference. The other element is we are compressing how we work. We are moving to a much more intense, much more focused way of working where we are believing that having less time is a benefit. It's not a problem. It's just to sort of channel, harness all our creativity in a more limited amount of time. And the other is Fly Fearless brings new people to the table. We're bringing agitators. Agitators are unexpected people that are going to bring provocative new perspectives to the table. And we are designing teams that are not the same throughout the whole journey. We're bringing in and out, so it's a very much more fluid than the typical way that we work. So we've done some pilots, as you saw, and we have tested this in places very different than Greece. And what we see at the end of the day is that we are getting braver. Fly Fearless is helping us unleash, and we are daring to do movies in Greece, 43 movie, uh, seconds movie, uh, with a message of dare to love like there's no tomorrow. And we are seeing, uh, we're sort of touching hearts. Apart from selling more chocolates, we're touching people. And we are seeing that through having 20% of the Greek population in definitely not easy moments to speak about love, we are super engaged with the content that we're putting there. In Sweden, we are uh, mobilizing with a, with a campaign which is about a hug makes a difference. And I think that we're getting out there. And we are seeing that uh, going out and being braver is definitely allowing us to put our brands in places, in conversations that we are not comfortable about. It's not about feeling comfortable, because we're definitely not. But what we are seeing is the benefits of that discomfort. We are seeing it. Is everything working perfectly? The answer is no. And what I wanted is to share three uncomfortable learnings, which I think are the essence of what is making this work. So this is full of sort of contradictions in terms of these are the secret sauce of what is going to make Fly Fearless work for us. And the first and comfort comes from, um, this is not about consumers. The people who have to change for us to be able to do greater work is us. We are the ones that have to change if we want to get to better work. And what we have to change, what we see is that Fly Fearless is very challenging because as a client, we have to stop sitting down from the approval role 
and be part of the cooking. And for our partners, the tension comes when they are opening their kitchen and maybe they don't like us. Maybe they don't want us because I, I love my recipe and I'm not giving you my omelets. And you have not been such a good buddy. I have, I have seen you cook. You don't cook so well. So until you show me that you can cook, you're not messing with my omelets. Okay? So I feel that what I tried is to synthesize that it's all about us. Because you're sitting there and you say like, okay, now I am a co-creator. I don't know if I want to be a co-creator on a Monday. It's like, really? Do you think that I'm going, I have something to bring? So I think that it's all about us as leaders, as owning this transformation agenda. But we see the benefits when we are daring to do that. And I think that the big thing for all of us in the room is can we leave the egos outside? Because when we do that, senior, junior, they don't apply anymore in the creative table. So I think we're learning. We're learning the, I would say, the real way. Sometimes it works better. Some teams just navigate. For others, it's painful. But at the end of the day, this is working for us. The other is fast is good. And I don't work for Nike. I don't run. But there is an element of speed which is very positive me. And we are basically measuring ourselves to get work done in 20 weeks. And the idea of having less time for us as a client is working better because we have less time to discuss. And it may sound that's not so positive, but believe me, it is. You get to get to have a decision quicker. So you discuss less, and what you discuss is what matters. So I think that there's a benefit. The real sort of um, the moment where this can, becomes a bad thing, and it's a critical role for that triangle. Those are the leaders that are going to say how much of speed is good and when you're sort of overdoing. So that's the role of the triangle. And I think that agitation is control for lunch. There is a Brazilian uh, phrase which I love, which is abrir mão, open your hand. That sense of bring agitators. And the idea of losing control, which probably is counterintuitive, has a lot of value to bring for Fly Fearless. And we, are, we don't want to leave the secret sources, so we have coded it in our model. We want to have a designed moment for chaos. We have designed that because we believe that that's critical. And it's curated chaos. It's not just chaos. It's good chaos. And it takes a lot of work to do it. And basically, what we are saying as from our side is we have to come with briefs that are generous enough to leave space for agitation. Because it's very good to iterate and go back. It's not that you have a problem if you have to go back and revisit a brief. So hopefully, you have a sense of transformation, bring external people and be ready to be provoked and have a bit of chaos. And if you force on yourself some things that probably are counterintuitive as having a pressure of time, believe me that hacking yourself, that going against yourself is something that in the end is going to be positive. And probably with some drinks and good friends, it's generally even enjoyable. So I think that those are like the three big learnings that I had to share with you. And um, I wanted to, to wrap it up with the feeling that I have before uh, expanding this. Because as we speak, we are doing. In LATAM, we are fully rolling out. And in other regions, we are starting the conversation. And this is a quote I love. I love of Ray Bradbury, which has that feeling of adrenaline and trust. Because I'm not jumping if I don't trust that I'm going to grow those wings, OK? So I, I felt that he said it much better, but that's how I'm feeling, and thank you so much for your time. <laughs>